Good morning, Cyber Traders, and welcome back. The day after Christmas. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Good morning, Grant. Good morning, everybody. Wayne, everybody. Lita, good to see you. All right, beautiful. Neil, everyone. Perfect. All right, guys. Um, before we get started, hopefully everyone had a Merry Christmas and enjoyed. I'm still uh, kind of a little exhausted. I had about <clears throat> 40 people at my house I had to cook for. <laughs> so it was uh, it was a really long day. I don't think more just the night, just more just nonstop <laughs> cooking. But it was fun, and uh, you know, comes once a year. But had a great time. Hopefully, everyone else had a good time on their end. And it looks like everyone is back. Uh, you know, so now we need to know how we're going to trade going to this market because we had a big, big bloodbath on Monday, and uh, market being down like six hundred points. I mean, it has been nasty. So we'll talk a little bit about that. But first, I'd like to kind of just make a quick little uh, shout out. I'd like to welcome all the Canadian, everyone from Canada on Boxing Day. Andre just explained it to me what it was. I didn't even know what Boxing Day was. I thought it was everyone was boxing fans that's sp in sports. I didn't know it was everyone had to box their clo uh, all their Christmas gifts or something like that. But uh, thanks for sharing that. I didn't know that was uh, now they made it a national holiday. And very interesting. I guess it's like we have national holidays. It's National Pizza Day. You know, um, we got to yeah, next we need to do is put on all our calendars. That would be great. Wouldn't that work out? <laughs> but I'll let Muhammad Ali coming back. That would be great. I think I, I think I did see him fight once. Again, what a, you know, what a, what a great fighter. But anyway, um, wish you guys all luck on Boxing Day. In the meantime, about what's going on. <clears throat> sorry, I got something stuck in my throat. What's going on this morning? You know, the market's up a little bit. Listen, regarding about what's happening in the market, uh, I'm taking I'm taking a little bit of a hit on my swing trades. Thank God we're all in cash uh, as day traders. Uh, I thought I bottom fished on a couple of stocks out there, but I'm not getting killed that bad. Uh, you know, very very little. Um, but I, I think the market's gonna make uh, is gonna be coming back. Mike sounds a little bit weak, Tom. It, um, hold on, let me see if I can fix that. Testing. All right, probably sound a little bit better right now. But um, regarding about with the market, listen, trading like back in 2008 when we had the crash, 2008, that was very predictable. You know, they were giving mortgages to people um, that, that really couldn't afford them. If you, if you want to learn more about it, they made a movie about it. So, you know, the big short, I always tell everyone, greatest movie ever. You got to watch it like two, three times to really, really get it because I kind of put a lot into one movie, uh, with all these uh, metaphors that they use. But a uh, great, great movie. And, you know, what's going on in this market, I'll be honest with you, I really don't see, you know, having, they just announced that we spent more money uh, during the Christmas holidays in history. Uh, we have basically great uh, growth. Uh, Blue collar workers are a shortage. I mean, it's not like people are unemployed. They're, yeah, they're raising interest rates, you know, and I get it why they're raising interest rates is because they're trying to, you know, as a security blanket, you know, you have a good market, you got to raise it. Maybe they raise them a little too fast uh, and too much too quickly, which I probably would agree. But other than that, I mean, listen, there's going to be some great buying opportunities, so don't panic regarding about the market. Yeah, granted, we we gave back about two three, two years of, of a jump, but, you know, but on that Dow, you know, listen, it, it, you wish you could have bought them two years ago. Well, now here's your opportunity. So just sit back and just wait. Yeah, they are killing, you know, the, the market, you know, listen, everybody's trying to say it could be the tariffs, could be this, could be that. It's the, it's the, you know, the market being shut down, but the market will come back. It will come back. It's just trying to, you know, get that bottom. But I, I for me personally, I've been doing this for 25 years. I don't see anything that is really making it that, a more of a catastrophe as a crash like people like at dinner everyone's asking me at work uh at, at dinner i'm sorry uh yesterday the same fouls we're going to a recession i'll be, I'll be honest i'm not an analyst but I, I mean i don't see anything that's pointing to it you know so keep an eye on that now regarding about uh what's trading this morning listen you know the day after christmas and i told you this um going back into the summertime and i keep reminding you every single morning we are finally here, and what I mean by that is that this is the slowest time of the year, all right? The, the, I mean, 
it's so hard to predict as much as I say historically it is it hasn't been that it hasn't been that quiet regarding about what happened on Monday and and the day before that I mean we had the biggest correction in one month in history worst market movement in in uh, Christmas Christmas history so I mean the market's up a little bit you could see a lot of people are are took off which is okay you know listen the big thing about taking off is I just want to tell everybody to tell everyone this. And I know we have with all this technology, just be in cash. And if you're going to go on vacation, whatever, just make sure you're in cash. You know, if you unless you could be focused and be there, you know, if you were running around shopping on on Monday, and then you know, and, and all of a sudden you get back and like, oh, the market's not that bad. It's on 100 points, and then all of a sudden you're down 600. You know, it's like, what the hell happened? Just go enjoy the re- enjoy your week and go from there. But uh, regarding about going on for the next week. Until January 1st, I mean, probably until January 3rd, because the market probably is going to be shut down until then. You know, today's more of a nickels and dimes day. Don't hold overnights. If you see something you really, 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 really liked that you wanted to buy, and now it's coming to levels that now you could afford, you know, and you're feeling confident in the market, then then do it. Uh, but um, but don't be don't be scared. You got to trade. And listen. If, if you got to a point where you lost more than you expected, then get out. You can just buy it back cheaper. That's just the way it goes. Now, regarding about this morning, what's moving, you know, there were a couple of stocks that I did find, like the S, uh, the SFET. I'm going to bring that up. Out of all the stocks, I probably thought that one was pretty the most interesting stock that had some good move. I mean, stock took a big hit long term. And it's the only one that's got a nice little Fausto flag right here you could see. Uh, just broke a little higher high. Pretty much the only one I'm kind of a little bit more comfortable with it. I know a bunch of us were watching, and Ken actually was, was in this morning, uh, in this MRIN. And, you know, I wasn't completely sold on it. You know, it did made a nice move around the 8 o'clock. Let me fix this time frame over here. The one-minute chart. So we had a nice little move right here. Then it kind of hit a little bit of a brick wall. It just backed off right here. And that's a pretty damn big back off. Stock had a nice little rally you could see here. But, um, you know, overall, you know, getting a little bit of a bottom fish, what's happening. Listen, the stock was always down to two. So MRN was a great uh, mover for us. But be very careful of that. You know, I hate chasing stocks after these big runs. Roku, that one's making a pretty decent move. A little bit more uh, of a brand name stock. But uh, this stock does move. Doesn't have the biggest iceberg orders. If you look at over there on the matrix, uh, what's going on. But. It looks, you know, listen, it's got a little bit of a push. There's a couple of good good ones out there. And then the uh, the CHK. Now, CHK, this one here has got a little bit of a nicer move. It's got a little bit of a trend. It's a cheap stock, level one stock. Everyone could trade it. If you're an advanced stock, the good thing about this one, you could trade thousands of shares of it. You could trade 5,000, 10,000, and you know you can get in and out of it. Just look at the uh, the matrix over there on the right, you can see you got a lot of iceberg orders on all the ECNs. Now, that's pretty much all I found. I mean, when you look over here uh, on the big active gainers and losers, I mean, you got the ETFs. I don't need to go through those. I know some of us were looking at the MBEV. That one's starting to make a little bit of a move. I'll put that one on the watch list. I, I wasn't too impressed about it. But now looking at it, looks like she's starting to make a little bit of a move. But all the ETFs are doing pretty well. All right, guys, anything I'm missing um, that I did not call out? Grant says, what about the J-Nut? J-N-U-G. Get a little Fausta flag on that. Uh, it's kind of flat, you know, like right here. You could see it right there. I don't know. Don't really see as much of a flag on that one, Grant. It's kind of flat. All right. All right, guys, so uh, listen. It's a very light day. The market's up a little bit. Um, I'm not completely sold on going swing until we get like three, four, five, three to four positive days. But when you're dealing with a market like what's happening right now in the middle of the year, uh, a lot of people don't like to be getting to any positions probably till January. So just kind of deal with the nickels and dimes, you know, being here. But it's a great time to learn. It's a great time to see what it's like uh, on a de- uh, on these type of markets. And hell, we never know. You know, we we never know what could happen. No one predicted that we would have this big of a correction in December. This is the first time in history, so you learn something new. Just, uh, but I can tell you this: learning is what makes you a better trader. And 
it's very rare to be in opportunities like we're in, like what happened these past couple of weeks. So just look, listen, and learn. Be prepared. But there are going to be some great opportunities out there for a lot of us to make some big money out there. So just be very patient, all right? We just need consistency of trend. All right, guys. So with that said, um, Josh is going to be off today. Uh, Eric will be working in the room, including myself and some of the other staff. So listen, it's the time of uh, to, to sit back and enjoy and wait for the new year. So don't get too crazy. All right, guys. Good luck today. Happy trading.